Dear colleagues, in this video, my aim is to teach nucleus management by direct chop. This is an unedited video. The main incision is placed at a selected site. This is a 2.8 millimeter keratome and the incision is at the posterior aspect of the limbus and you can see oozing of blood. This is done intentionally. Viscolistic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and it is spread over the corneal epithelium for better visibility and for epithelial protection. And now, this is a side port about 3 clock hours away from the main incision on the left side. Capsular axis is to be done now. A 26 gauge band needle is taken. It is introduced into the anterior chamber. The anterior capsule is incised and a capsular flap is raised like this. Now I take a uterator forceps, hold this capsular flap, go anticlockwise and do a continuous curvilinear capsular axis. This is a very nice rexis with controlled movement and almost circular. Now hydrodissection is done. Fluid wave is passed just underneath the anterior capsular rim going up to the equator and see the fluid wave should go from this side to the opposite side. Now tap the nucleus, let the fluid wave come anteriorly along the equator. Do some hydrodelineation. This hydrodelineation separates the nucleus from the epinucleus. And now, for direct chop, what the beginner surgeon can do is just in front of the main incision make a crater, make a triangular crater. The apex just in front of the main incision and the base is at the center of the nucleus. Remove some cortex for better visibility and now introduce the chopper be in FECO on mode where the vacuum is very less say about 50 millimeter of mercury flow rate say 25 and power according to the hardness of the cataract it is in this case it is 60 percent. Now you go to FECO 2 mode. Be at a deeper level. Go to position 3 of the foot switch apply some energy and immediately come back to position 2 that is in aspiration mode. Hold this mass very nicely and now chop it. Bring it from periphery up to the FECO tip and separate this like this. So this is a very slow demonstration of direct chop and I believe after watching this you will be able to do direct chop. Now rotate the nucleus, chop at another place this free nuclear fragment can, can be emulsified and removed. Now this is another free fragment. Now this is the other heminucleus. You can hold it at the middle and should be a nice hold and if you apply energy it will just cut. So just hold it and then if you want to chop it just chop it without applying any ultrasonic power and then you can emulsify and remove this piece of nucleus. Now if nucleus just use only vacuum at this time bring it at the central part and then apply energy. You can go to epinucleus mode and remove this epinucleus. So nucleus and epinucleus has been 
removed. Since there is only one side port in this case, you have to use either a Simcoe cannula or a coaxial irrigation aspiration cannula. I'm using a 23Z Simcoe cannula and very easily we can remove the cortex with this very uh, simple instrument and for every case you can afford a Simcoe cannula but for every case it's difficult to afford bimanual and coaxial if you are a very high volume search this is hydro polish the posterior capsule is being polished by only irrigation that's it and now after irrigation a foldable intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag so let me repeat how you will do direct chop just make a crater just in front of the main incision go at a deeper level go to position 3 hold the nucleus firmly as you hold it you must come back to position 2 and then chop the nucleus in this case the lens has been implanted under irrigating fluid you can implant it injecting viscoelastic substance only thing is you have to remove the viscoelastic substance very nicely for beginner surgeons I recommend that you implant the lens under viscoelastic substance that's it now a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done I remove all the particles and leave the eye with fresh BSS thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills please learn direct job and you will need very minimal ultrasonic energy